Good morning everybody, Charlie here, November Juliet 7 Victor, uh, pardon the sunglasses but the sun is really really bright right now on top of the summit um, and the shade's not going to work for filming so I apologize. Uh, I wanted to talk to you a little bit today, I'm on top of a drive up, it's a uh, Bigelow Mountain in uh, the Mount Lemon area of uh, Tucson and uh, let me just show you, there's my truck right there and we have some towers here. Uh, so that's usually the case or a lot of times when you have a drive up, but uh, this is the most cars I've ever seen up here We've got actually there's there's three right over here, and then there's this one and then mine. So uh, Pretty interesting. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up on HF and do some HF uh, Contacts here in just a second, but I wanted to talk to you about this radio here the you know the, the uh, radiodity uh, G5 or sorry, it's the G65B, Radio Auto G65B. Um, as you know, I have been using that radio for the last couple months or so, taking it on all of my Summits on the Air activations. And uh, I took it to, to Dayton, and I, I actually I really appreciate Radio Oddity uh, sending this to me, letting me have an opportunity to test it out and see if it's something that I could recommend for Summits on the Air. Well, I am uh, going to try one more time to, to use this radio to make a contact up here on this summit. But uh, what I found is that this probably isn't the best radio for summits on the air. The reason I say that is because uh, it, it doesn't receive like my other radio. And uh, how, how I know that is I, I went up on top of a couple different mountains recently, just local mountains, and I had the radiodity, and my wife had a Yesu, and then another friend of ours, Steve, he had another uh, uh, brand radio that's, uh, you know, a little bit better when I think it was an icon. I'm, I'm not actually sure which one he had, but at any rate, there were, I think it was actually a Yesu, but uh, a little bit better build. And we were all on the top of this, this mountain, and there were other people on top of mountains. We were doing mini morning madness, uh, we're all on at the same time. And some people from other mountains were calling us, and I was I had my uh, radio right like this listening, and I had the squelch fully open, and I checked to make sure the squelch was fully open. I couldn't hear them, but yet uh, Sandy and uh, my friend Steve were sitting a little bit off, and I could hear those radio stations call on their radio, but not on mine. And I was actually I had a better antenna. It was the uh, signal stick that I got from Hamvention on this radio, and I was at a little bit higher elevation as well. So I thought, hmm, I, maybe I want to try just using the stock antenna. Maybe it's better because it's, the SWR is better. I doubt it, but uh, so I tried uh, a bunch. I haven't tried that yet today, so I want to try it with this stock antenna and uh, and uh, compare with this in the Yesu. But uh, again, uh, they didn't have. They just had rubber ducks on theirs too. I think my wife was using it actually an after brand. Uh, it's short rubber duck and and so she didn't have anything special but yet she was able to hear and I wasn't so um, my point is this radio is probably not the best for summits on the air because you got to really have good ears on your radio for long distance communication in a simplex now if you're using this for local simplex you know uh, talking you know in camp or if you're using a repeater I think this is a great radio it's really it's really a nice radio and and has a lot of good features I'm not gonna go over them all because of course other ham radio operators have made videos about them you know it has the flashlight here and and a few other features but uh, what I will say is good radio I would uh, hold on to it if I wasn't planning on giving it away but I am planning on giving it away but uh, I wouldn't take it to a summits on the air activation and rely on it because uh, the reception the receive in this is, is not the greatest and I haven't even at this point tested to see if the if there's interference uh, differences I, I assume there probably is but I don't know uh, I could probably do another test before I give this away and see if there's there's a signal interference with the front end as well uh, but anyway, just wanted to mention that. I'm going to go ahead and try now to make contact with Phoenix with this radio uh, and the uh, standard rubber duck. And I am going to simultaneously use my Yesu FT8, uh, uh, my F FT60R, and I will see which of the two uh, does better out that direction. So uh, stay tuned and uh, we will uh, make some contacts on VHF uh, 2 meter FM. Kilowatt Alpha 9 Juliet Delta Echo Stroke 7. Hey there, Brad. How you doing? Uh, it's good to talk to you. Good to talk to you, too. I'm up on Mount Orb. Mount Orb, QSL. Yeah, I got a, a handheld in my hand right here. Uh, just a, a rubber duck. Your 5.9, perfect signal. Did you copy that, Charlie? I'm on Mount Orb, QSL. 
Yes, QSL, QSL. I copy it a 5-9, 5-9 with a handheld and rubber duck. You got it. You're a 5-3, a 5-3. Have a great day, Charlie. You're number 12 on the list. <laughs> okay, great. Have fun up there. 73. 73. N3BZ. N3BZ, NJ7V, you're 5-9. Nothing here. Okay, got the 3-2, you are 5-9. Uh, roger, roger, 5-9, enjoy, 73. Thank you, 73. See nothing here. Okay, folks, I hope that demonstration uh, cleared it up for everybody. Again, I really appreciate Radiodity, and I, I do think this is a great radio for, uh, you know, local um, simplex communication and for uh, the use of repeaters. But uh, for long range, trying to get those, dig those uh, signals out of the noise with a squelch wide open, it's not something I'd recommend. For, so so uh, summits on the air, probably not, but uh, other things, probably so. So uh, with that, I am uh, going to go ahead and get uh, going with HF and uh, continue this activation.
right, folks, that's going to do it for this activation. I'm already at the uh, next trailhead for the next summit that I'm going to do. It'll be in another video. But uh, we were able to work 20, 30, and 40, get some contacts on all three of those uh, bands, side band, plus the two meters. Uh, it's just a recap, uh, the uh, Radioddity radio that I reviewed. It's good radio, but uh, probably not for summits on the air. And uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please make sure you come back and check it out, check out some more of my videos. Anyway, we will catch you on the next one. I'll say 73 and uh, take care, everybody. Bye.